welcome back to chemistry made easy with bright edu in today's video lesson i will be teaching about dehydration of alcohols now dehydration of alcohol is a reaction used during the preparations of alkenes now how does this reaction work now dehydration simply means removal of water from the alcohol now this is how the reaction works this is an alcohol the functional group is arrow bond oh which is the arrow signifies the alkyl group now for dehydration of alcohol it works in the presence of a dehydrating agent which is concentrated sulfuric acid h2so4 and also in the presence of heat when this reaction happens we'll get the alkene and also there will be removal of water which is h2o now how does this reaction work? Let's take an example. Remember, the dehydrating agent is basically concentrated sulfuric acid and also in the presence of heat. This alcohol here is called ethanol. This is called ethanol. It has two carbons with the hydroxyl group. And our product we get will be The product we've gotten is called ethene, which is the alkene, and also there will be elimination of water. Now, how does this reaction work? Now, for dehydration of alcohols, we'll only focus on two carbon. One, the carbon bearing the OH, and also the carbon that bears the hydrogen atom, which is this, close to the OH. Now, this is what I mean. For, for this reaction, we'll focus on just two carbon, generally for dehydration, focusing on just two carbon. The carbon bearing the OH, which is this carbon, and also the carbon that is close to the OH. And now, the carbon close to the OH bears the hydrogen atom. So, for dehydration reaction, it simply means removal of water. Now, we remove this hydroxyl group, which... We remove this hydroxyl group that is bonded to this carbon, and also we remove this hydrogen atom that is bonded to this carbon. So when this happens, we will get a double bond here, which is this, and also the hydrogen atom and the hydroxide group comes together to form water. This is basically written as HOH. And HOH signifies two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen which is water so when you remove the hydroxide group and the hydrogen atom there will be formation of a double bond okay which is the alkene basically a team and with the removal of water so dehydration of alcohol basically is an elimination reaction it is an elimination reaction why because there is elimination of water which is it so basically, for dehydration reaction, the carbon bearing the OH and also the carbon adjacent to it, which is the neighboring carbon that bears hydrogen, the removal of these groups, which is the hydroxide group and also the hydrogen atom. So there will be formation of a double bond, which basically in this context is a team, and removal of water, which is an elimination reaction. Now. It should be noted for dehydration of alcohol, tertiary alcohols have easily been dehydrated. T 
tertiary alcohols are easily being dehydrated, followed by the the uh, followed by secondary alcohols be before the primary alcohols before the primary alcohols. Now, let's take other examples to understand this concept better. Remember, for dehydration, we'll simply focus on two carbons. Two carbons, the carbon adjacent to the carbon bearing the OH, which is basically the two carbon, which is basically the second carbon. Now, let's quickly move over to other examples to understand this concept better. Remember, dehydration of alcohol is an elimination reaction. Now, you can see this compound here is in the condensed form. So, what we do first is to draw the structural formula of this compound. Now, this is what I mean. Let's draw the, bring out the structure out of this compound. So, basically, we have uh, this. Now, how does this reaction work? First, this compound is called propanol. This compound is called propanol. Basically, one propanol or pro propan one or. Now, remember I said for dehydration of alcohol, we'll focus on just two carbons. Two carbons. First, the carbon bearing the hydroxyl group and also the carbon directly adjacent to the carbon bearing the hydroxyl group. So basically you can see that this is the carbon bearing the hydroxyl group and also the carbon that is directly attached to the carbon bearing the hydroxyl group is this other carbon and it bears hydrogen atom. So for dehydration is simply removal of the hydroxyl group and also removal of hydrogen atom. So when this occur, there will be formation of a double bond here. So let's write this as our product now. We have a now. You can see now we've removed the the uh, the hydrogen atom and also the hydroxide group to form a double bond. Now that is the product we've gotten. So what is this product called? It is called propene basically is called one propene now this hydrogen atom will be removed and also the hydroxide group will now form water h2o remember for dehydration of alcohols it works that just two carbon two carbons first the carbon bearing the hydroxyl group and also the carbon bearing or the carbon closely attached or directly attached to the carbon bearing hydroxyl group. So basically, we remove this and also remove the hydrogen atom to get our product. Basically, in this context, is called 1-propene.